Hey everybody and once again welcome to the Blitz on 2. It's week 6 of the high school football season. I'm Mark Morgan again and every Friday night this time we will be your one stop shopping for all your high school football needs. Yeah, the show is off to a great start. Don't know uh, what happened there with the open, but glad to have you. I'm Dan Fanning. Region play begins in earnest this evening. A handful of teams got through their not region slate still undefeated. One of them, Ashley Ridge, the Swamp Foxes, trying to do something tonight that they haven't accomplished in a decade. Beat Fort D. To the Fort we go AR. Again, has not won since 2014. Foxes, though, first drive, Trevor Kalis, picked off by Roe Parson. Patriots and Bidness inside the AR 25. After Fort converts on a fourth down, Davion Brown, the diminutive. Five alive in the Wildcat rumbles in. Where is Davion? Uh, there he is. If you couldn't tell by the dance, touchdown Patriots. They're up six nothing. Kalis responds. A slant to Derek Sally. Give six six. David Shelton and I were joking that Derek could play tomorrow for one of the state colleges in town. Ah. Next drive, Trevor up top to his main man, Derek, in double, maybe triple coverage. Hauls it in. These two are ballers. That leads to this. Kalis over the top to who else but Derek, Sally, baby Julio Jones. Have yourself a first quarter. That made it 14-6 visitor. Back and forth, but 4-D prevails in the end as we go to your final score. Fort Dorchester wins our game of the week 40-22. Moving on, number one ranked Somerville. Best 5A team in the state according to the polls visiting Stratford. Green Wave and Knights, here we go. Knights with it. Watch Eric McCrary. He does a lot, carries a lot of the load for the Stratford Knights this season. McCrary with a gain of 10 right there through the Green Wave defense before he's finally brought down and rolls out of bounds. That set up this 37 yard field goal by Tyler Stamen. It is good. Dan and I have talked about this all season. A lot of good field goal kickers in the low country. 3 0 Stratford. First play from scrimmage after the field goal. Jaden Cummings deep to is it Sheldon Glenn or Pickle Pettiford? Does Pickle tip it? I'm not wow. sure. Sheldon wow. Glenn's got it. He's in the end zone. He goes, I got this. No problem. 80 yards on the play, 7-3 Green Wave. Cummings then rolls out. Next drive, deep to Pettiford. And when you throw it to him, he's going to do that. He's got it. 45 yards for the score. The try for two was good. Green Wave on top, 15-3. To, to the board we go, 44-21. Ian Rafferty's team still unbeaten. Now, Philip Simmons tonight hosting the defending state champs. The Iron Horses have run wild so far this season, but a stern test tonight to your point with the Buford Eagles flying into town. The unbeaten Iron Horses of PS hosting the defending 3A champs. The Iron Horses are going to run the ball down your throat. If you don't stop them, Sherrod Williams for eight yards right here. Then the direct snap to KJ Asbury, friend of the show. Philip Simmons did that a lot this evening. Asbury around the left side for a gain of 20. Iron Horses moving the sticks. Another direct snap to Asbury. He almost gets it in, but he is down. And Mark says at the one foot line. Give or take. Uh, then KJ <laughs> punches it in. PAT was good. 7 nothing. Philip Simmons. They finally got into the top 10. Maybe thanks to us. Not sure. Anyway, one more run by KJ Asbury as he head towards Mark. Yep. The Shark. I'm bailing Morgan. a little early. Right, right here. I'm Watch going, oh out, man. Mark. Oh, man. Ooh. I got to worry about the knees, man. Yeah, some brittle bones. Yep. KJ is okay. <laughs> Mark, I love you. And the Iron Horses are okay as well. As and we I'm go okay. to the board, <laughs> Philip Simmons. How about this? They stay unbeaten, beating the defending 3A chance by 30. 36 to 6. Collinson County and James Island, J.I. coach Anaya Jenkins on the sideline. Dan did a great feature story on her earlier in the week. The best feature story in the city, by the way. Trojans first drive back to Scott that? under center. He muscles his way in 7 0 in the backyard. Home team on top. Cougars O tries to find an answer. Antoine McWilliams right here. Tough running, but a solid gain. The drive did stall, though. Another shot of Anaya there. Next J.I. possession. They call on the tank. Amari Scott. Amar. Amar Scott, my bad, with Amar. the option pitch. Rumbles down to the Collison sideline for the first down. Then later in the drive, the tank finishes what he started. Strolls in to make it 14-zip home team. This team right now cannot be stopped. 
It's a goose egg for the visitors. It's 56 nothing. J.I., you know. Nicely done. We're teaching Mark. Robert E. Hayes, <laughs> field as Lucy Beckham, host May River, Bengals up big. Second quarter, Jamel Smith. Still intense. Lucy Beckham knocking on the door. Chalmers Ballard with the keeper around the left side. Seven yards in for the score. The PAT good. That made it 35 nothing Bengals. That was the score at recess as Lucy Beckham runs all over May River tonight. That's pretty much all you needed to see. Oh, I show the PAT. Yeah, nothing <laughs> wrong with that. As Lucy Beckham, make sure you don't say the LB as Andrew Glover would get upset. He does, I know. Bengals, yeah. they win big, 42-6. to six. We keep rolling now. Woodland at Hanahan. Wolverines unbeaten on the season. Scoreless first quarter, Wolverines ball around midfield. T.J. Wright is as good as gone. Where is he? There he is. Bunch of blue shirts chasing him. Woodland scores a touchdown right there. The right stuff, as Dan would say, 7 nothing visitors. Hard to tell in this scrum right here, but it appears Julius Hippensteel will get in before they rule it a fumble. Either way, cheerleaders happy we're tied at 7. Back comes the Wood and right. This time, left side, second TD of the night. He is in. 13-7, Woodland on top. Same score, second quarter. Now, Cooper Glazer, we think, is under that big pile right there, waiting for some refs. We're going to say something? I guess we are. Woodland increases its lead to 19-7. To the board we go, and look at here. Woodland How about it? remains unbeaten as well. A lot of unbeaten teams surviving on this Friday night. 31-28 is your final. All right, we're just getting warmed up here on the Blitz on 2. We're going to step away for a brief moment, get some water, maybe some Advil, not sure. Yeah, some BC powder. Oh, I don't know if people still use that. Goose Creek yeah. looks to continue their reign in Class 5A Region 6. A shout out to uh, the old king, Richard Petty. I was about to say, The yeah. Stags and Gators baby. from Charles Gibson Stadium after this break. And welcome back into the Blitz on 2. Goose Creek has won the region title four years in a row. Gators opening up their region slate with Berkeley this evening. That's right, the Stags on the road traveling about 18 miles to Goose Creek. Yes, I mapped it. Just saying, it's about 18 miles. Gators up 14-0 as we pick it up in, where are we? Goose Creek. That is correct. Kevin Rivers to Caden Bash of the Stags. This is a virtual rerun, a veritable rerun, whatever, so. of the same play we saw earlier in the year that was coming at us. This one away, that pitch and catch, about 85 yards for the score. One of the few bright spots for the visiting Stags because they lose this game big. In fact, that was the bright spot, Dan, as we go to the scoreboard. 49-7, great win for Goose Creek tonight. And sorry to correct you, but Henry Rivers. Ah, Wildcats and Stahl. West Ashley up 23-0 in the second quarter. Kevin Brown inside handoff. He strolls in. That gives the Wildcats Christina Lobos alma mater a 30-0 lead. Then David Dunian, QB keeper, bounces off Stahl tackles. One, two, three, maybe four guys to bring him down. Then fourth down, West Ashley going for it. Craig White. Come on, Craig. On Friday, this Craig keeps his <laughs> What's job. What's that from? Friday the movie ah, with uh, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. How about that? Oh, Craig White scores as Donnie Kiefer goes for it. Then one more time. What can Kevin Brown do for you? Muscles his way in as all West Ashley this evening as we go to the board. Wildcats win over Stahl 65 to nothing. Now, while the Trojans of, we just mentioned, James Island are one of the best 4A squads, same can be said for the Cross Trojans. That is correct, Dan. Sean Wright's Trojans dropped their opener to Calhoun County. Remember, that's, that's many moons ago and have rattled off five straight wins since looking for number six tonight at St. John's. Here we go. We pick it up scoreless first quarter. I love everybody running through the banner. I love the smoke. Here we go. Tyler Mungin with help from some friends. The pile drives into the end zone. That's a touchdown for the visitors. The try for two was good. That made it eight zip Trojans. Trojan D right here. Bad snap by the Islanders. Preston Fuller with a quarterback, snap, a quarterback sack for cross. Then Mungin across the middle to Jamez Way. That's a touchdown. 16 nothing cross the Tigers. As we said, excuse me, Trojans, can't read my own writing, after dropping their opener have now won six in a row. And this is a big win. Your final, 56 to nothing. Cross remains. A one-loss team.
And homecoming night here at North Charleston as the Cougars hosting Battery Creek. Watch these two plays. Into the first half, Tyrell Gatson, the QB, must have known he was going to be the homecoming king with the deep bomb on he had. What a catch there by Xavion Capers as he races in for the score. However, take another look. There's some laundry on the field. Very next play, Gadsden rolls out, airs it out to Jaden Sparks. Watch this right here. It bounces off the Battery Creek defender. Sparks Johnny on the spot. How about this? Take another look in slow mo. Bounces off one tackle. I guess bounces off one de defender. He tackles his own man. Then Jaden strolls in for the score. As we go to the final score, North Charleston coming right at you. Yeah. Great shooting. No, I was about, that was tremendous. Myself, shooting. if yeah. I don't say sh so. Yeah. How about this? North Charleston wins at home tonight. 13 to 7. So a nice win for the Cougars. We're moving on. Eagles of MMA up 21 nothing. Excuse me, 21 7 against Burke as we pick up the action. MMA driving Robert Perrineau deep to Troy Hamilton. Where is Troy? There he is. That's a nice grab right there. And that is a touchdown for Military Magnet. A few plays later, Perrineau does it himself for the score. I apologize. That got him close. That's the touchdown. We go to the board. MMA a winner over Burke. You saw it. They led 28 7 after that score. 28 15 is your final. And Bradley Adams still looking for his first win at Georgetown, taking on Waccamaw. First quarter, no score. AJ Great up the middle, 13 yards for a first down for the visiting Warriors of Waccamaw. But trouble right here is great. Back to pass. Chandler Adams with the INT. Nicely done over the middle. Kind of read it like a book. Number 12. High tails it back close to midfield. Nice return then Tyquise Harrison on fourth and one. 62 yard scamper picks wow. him up, puts him down into your living room. Seven nothing Bulldogs Warriors looking to move the ball on their possession. Cody Williams goes for 20 and a first down, but that drive would stall. Georgetown led seven six at the half, but we go to the final score. How about this? Walk them off. This may be their first win of the year over Georgetown 24 14. Now to Skeezer. Portugal opens up region play against Trinity Collegiate, who was a couple years removed from a state title. That's right, Brad Bowles Cyclones looking to bounce back from its their first loss, remember last week, to Hanahan. Let's check out the highlights from this one. This was a pretty good game for the home team. Turned into the JJ Flood Show. He is a recurring friend of the program. Portugal first drive of the second quarter. JJ, big gain. That's about 45 yards before he is finally not even dragged down, just kind of shoved out of bounds a bit. A few plays later, the first of his five touchdowns. He rushed for 369 yards. Yikes. Later, Nolan Schumann. I ran into Nolan's dad at the gas station. Hello, Mr. Schumann. There's your son. We had a great conversation today. He said, hey, he said, Dan, he goes, hey, what games you covering? I said, we're covering all the games. And here we are watching the Porter Gallon Cyclones. And there he goes again. Nolan Schumann, nicely done to the board. We go Porter Gallon, a big winner. The Schumanns are happy. 58-30 is your final. And last night, the JV Wilson Hall B-Rods and Coach Neil Morrison knocked off Thomas Sumter Academy tonight. The varsity Barons of Wilson Hall Puts it on Northwood 62 to 20. Another brief time out here on the Blitz. We'll let the sponsors do their thing. Yeah, that is right. A look at some more scores. Also our play, maybe the plays of the night when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Blitz on two alongside Dan Fanning. I'm Mark Morgan. Again, we're going to kind of recap some of the scores we need to show you across the low country for action in week six of the high school football season. Here's a couple to take note of. Uh, Wando lost to Kane Bay. Russell Zayers team wins at 55 to seven in Oceanside. Nice win on the road for the Landsharks, 30 to eight over Lake Marion. And two more scores to show you the Wolves of Timberland howling over BE 35 14 and Marion wins by 10 over Andrews 42 32. All right, we've got some skis of scores to uh, make light of. Hilton Head Christian big over First Baptist, 56 to six tonight. Pinewood Prep. Yeah, speaking puts of up, big. Yeah, Pinewood Prep puts up a 63 spot. Can you say that when it's an odd number? I guess you can. A 63 spot over PD Academy, 63-14. And one of our two plays of the night, Jaden Cummings fading back Somerville against Stratford. 
Is that ball tipped by wow. Pickle Pettiford? I think it may be the ball tipped to Sheldon Glenn. Sheldon Glenn, number 11. Sheldon goes, I had it all the time. I had it all the way. And he takes it in for the score. One of our two plays. As for the other one, Tyrell Gatson rolling out, airing it out to Jaden Sparks. Bounces off two Battery Creek defenders. Jaden strolls in. Take another look. Wow, oh. how about that? Nicely done. I got to North Charleston with about 2.30 left in the first half, and I got those two <laughs> scores. So, thank you very much, Cougars. Timing is everything, Dan. I would say so. Just like me getting Lucy Beckham just before the end of the first half. Uh, week six, pretty good takeaway, but still a lot of the schools that came in unbeaten are still unbeaten, man. Uh, Iron Horses, Somerville, Lucy Beckham, James Island, Woodland. Who else? Did I forget anybody? I don't think so. I, okay. Uh, yeah. If not, uh, someone please remind us. I, I'm sure we will get emails about that. So, again, a great week six, and again, week seven, it's coming. It's not stopping now with region play, too. These games mean something, man, right? Yeah, I would say so. Also, something uh, maybe that means something tomorrow for Clemson. Tigers trying to stay from going 0-3 in the ACC. Clemson has Syracuse. South Carolina goes on the road to Rocky Top. Can they do it again against Tennessee? As for the home standing, Citadel Bulldogs and CSU. Citadel has Western Carolina. Charleston Southern has Kennesaw State, albeit right. both. So look for some moving pictures tomorrow afternoon. Dan has you covered tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us here for another edition of the Blitz on 2. That is right. Week 7 begins, I guess, technically Monday. Thanks yeah. for watching. Have a great weekend. <laughs>